Welcome to Pompey Talk in partnership with Giant Leap. I'm your host, Jordan Cross, and joining me to discuss the Christmas fixtures, my colleague Steve Wilson. Steve, two games, one point. Not, not the best return, perhaps. No, probably not, no. But, um, I mean, late in Orion, I thought they were a bit unlucky not to get anything um, that day. The, the, the red card for Adam Webster was crucial, wasn't it? And then it, it, you could probably say the same again in, in, in terms of the Luton game. I thought they were a bit unlucky in that one. They probably just didn't get the rub of the green over the course of the two games on, on this occasion. Didn't do an awful lot wrong, I didn't think, against, against Luton. They created a good few chances. Just didn't quite get that break in front of goal on this occasion. So, um, you know, one point out of, out of six isn't, isn't great over no. Christmas. But it's, it hasn't, it's, it's not like they've plummeted down the table. It was, and some people always say about the whole Christmas is pivotal in all, in all this kind of things. It's not at all. It's, no, it's, it's, it's the end of the season. It's that a couple counts. of games, isn't it? Yeah. In, the, in the in the course of forty six. So, um, <coughs> you know, they're, they're still well in there. It's it's not the end of the world by any stretch. Having said that, though, four points to gap now to to the automatic places and eight points to Plymouth now. So, you can't see it um, needing to be much bigger than that now moving forward. No, probably not. But it's yeah, yeah. They're well in the playoff hunt, and that that was mm. the first priority this season. I think. I still think they'll they'll get. Into the automatic places, to be honest, because you know, two wins, two string, two three wins together yeah. quite quite easily in this division. Pompey still haven't, for my money, quite hit full cylinders. Um, certainly in the consistency levels, they've done it in, in little spells, but not quite strong results together. Um, and I think they're capable of doing that. I think they they could easily go on at a later point in the season, four, five, six you know, wins in, on the bounce. All of a sudden, you know, you're racing along, aren't mm. you? So it's it's definitely. Feasible. What, 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 what did you make over the course of it, late in Orient particularly? Well, what Orient, I would say, that in terms of the performance, it swung on the, on the, on the red card, didn't it? They, they were dominant early on. I think they could have been well, well, on, well in front. They were cruising, weren't they? Yeah, the one, one, on, minutes, you know, one goal, and it could have been more. Um, it changed, and then they were on the, on the back foot until half-time, weren't they? Getting themselves back into the game with the other red card, and then promptly losing lose the next goal. So that was, that was frustrating to, to get to that point of the game. Yeah. And then they that got was a key moment, actually, wasn't it? Because it, was, it got that huge lift, didn't it? That mm -hmm. They were suddenly evened up, down a side. Pompey probably think, here we go. This is yeah. And then you can see the sloppy goal straight from that set piece. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden it's deflated again, wasn't mm -hmm. it? But uh, I think they'd have gone on and won it without conceding that goal, I think. If they got they would have got back to 2-2, two -two, could have easily seen them going on to, to win it. But just having to claw back two goals... Left them that big mountain to climb, didn't it? But um, but and and Luton at, at Fratton, great great atmosphere for and a big crowd at uh, at, at Fratton <coughs> Park. Andy Orford coming back was a nice yeah. How was all subplot? It seemed like to me he was trying <laughs> to keep a bit of a low profile. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did speak to him afterwards. He said they're incognito there with <laughs> the uh, with the hat on and what have you. He he he, um, <coughs> he re flatly refused that that was the case. He just said he always wears a, a baseball cap now and, and his glasses as as we've mentioned the, a few times in the past these uh, focal ones that sort of change with the light yes. but and they're um, not looking like the blues brothers but doesn't he, was he? <laughs> he had his coat done up and his hat down and his and his dark glasses on it looked like someone trying to avoid the limelight to me but he claimed it was uh, you know the, <coughs> and he also said it was an emotional experience for him which must have been an odd experience for the guy i mean to you know all the, all the association with the club then to go to that dressing room yeah, and, and, and that dug out when you know but he got a nice nice reception from the from the Pompey fans, and he got a nice reception from the <coughs> from the Luton fans as well. But you know that was almost that game was almost tailor made for an mm -hmm. Orford. I remember a game when he took over uh, after Bark or one of the caretaker mm -hmm. spells he had. It was Hartlepool, I think, away. Yeah. Just made sure they were absolutely solid, hard to beat. Is it the same again. Came away with a nil nil. I mean, they, to be fair, to, on this occasion, Luton probably showed a bit more going forward than Pompey <coughs> did on that that game I'm referring mm -hmm. to a couple of seasons ago. Um, and, you know, they looked like they they had something on the break, a bit of pace there, but they didn't quite put it together in that final third. Pompey, I thought, were but was were the better side, probably mm -hmm. deserved to win, but didn't quite uh, didn't quite fall for them on that occasion. Paul Cook saying we're on track. I mean, he was a bit spiky after the Leighton Orient game. What was his mood like? Um, he was pretty upbeat, to be losing. honest. Yeah, he he felt they, they <coughs> deserved <coughs> to win. He was happy with mm. the performance, and it was one of those. You know, there's been I think there's been five nil nil draws at Fratton Park mm -hmm. in League Two this season now. And it didn't feel like the other some of the other nil nils. I mean, Yeovil one springs to mind only for the fact that it was a pretty dull game. <laughs> Pompey struggled to create anything. It wasn't the case in this on this one. They they did create a good few chances. On another day, they could have easily run out two three nil winners. But so what was the reaction of the fans? Pretty, mm -hmm. you know, there, there weren't any boos, not that I heard anyway. And and there have been occasions this season where a nil nil draw 
has prompted a few boos. But I think most of the fans sort of appreciated the efforts that that went into it and trying to, you know, probably trying to do the right things. Unfortunately, it just wasn't quite their day. So. Well, thanks, Steve. This has Good been job. Pompey Talk in partnership with Giant Leap. I've been your host, Jordan Cross. We'll see you next time.